How nourishing is every food item? Is cooking worth it? What's the best early game food? How much do you burn idle, walking and sprinting? And lastly, how many calories does a mechanic burn daily? We are about to find out the truth behind food and scrap mechanic. First question. How nourishing is every food item in the game? Usually I would have eaten every single food item in the game to figure this out, but the scrap mechanic wiki already has all the data that we need. However, it's just a table and nobody likes boring tables. Or do they? Download now in the workshop! So I went ahead and made a fancy smancy diagram for you. Well, it still kinda looks confusing because there's just so much data, but it's a diagram. So it's science! science. So what's interesting is that there are three categories of food. Food that primarily fills hunger, like carrots. Food that primarily fills thirst, like tomatoes. And food that fills everything equally, like red beets. All basic crops give you a total of 40 points. The more advanced crops, like bananas and oranges, give you 55 points in total. Except for the blueberry, which gives you 60 points. So if you want to go team blueberry, broccoli and pineapples give you 70 points each, wok milk is a cheap and easy way to replenish thirst, and sunshakes does about everything and noteworthy it gives you 10 health as well. Well and pizza burgers and veggie burgers are the ambrosia of food. They do everything. Second question. Is cooking worth it? To cook a pizza burger you need 2 milk and 1 tomato. Each meal gives 10 hunger and 40 thirst, and a tomato gives 10 hunger and 30 thirst. So all the eatable items together would give you 30 hunger and 110 thirst. However, a cooked burger gives you 100 hunger and 100 thirst. Interestingly, you gain less thirst when making pizza burgers. However, it's still a gain of 60 nutrition points. Well, at the expense of one wok steak and two potatoes. So, is the pizza burger worth it? I would say yes. Mmm, and it's delicious. So the veggie burger requires 2 carrots at 30 hunger and 10 thirst each, 1 red beet which gives 20 hunger and 20 thirst, and a tomato at 10 hunger and 30 thirst. So eating all the ingredients would give you 90 hunger and 70 thirst. That's a gain of 40 nutrition points. And that at the expense of only one potato. So is the veggie burger worth it? The answer is a delicious yes. Well, and if you wanted to know, a baguette costs 50 hunger and 130 thirst to make. Well, and here's all that in another diagram. Third question. What's the best early game food? If you don't have a farm yet, then eat whatever you can get your greedy hands on. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Yes, even your friends. But Exolert didn't add cannibalism yet. Pro tip, since you only need corn to feed walks, you can milk them harder than EA can build people's money with FIFA games. So you're thinking about growing your very own monoculture? Then start with carrots. They are great at filling your hunger and a nice addition to your endless supply of wok milk. And if you eat enough of them, you might even get night vision. But what is better than having one monoculture? Growing all the plants you need to make endless veggie burgers. Then go ahead and call your meatless burger the unachievable burger or something like that, start a company, have a big overhyped IPO, sell your stocks one year later and retire in a tax haven for the rest of your life. By then your food problems will only consist of choosing between overpriced luxury foods. Fourth question. How much do you burn idle, walking and sprinting? To figure that out I'm going to fill both my hunger and thirst and then let the game run for a long as while. So while staying idle, water lasted for 60 minutes and food if we account for the wok milk that I also drank for 82 minutes. Now I just need a special device for walking. That's going to take a few wheels and a controller. I present to you the scrap mill. Right, that's also why I've put on my sports outfit. So if I turn this thing on and don't fall off, um, which... Ah, got... <laughs> um, so yeah, now I can keep walking and we can eat the burger and then go. So my little workout made no difference. It was still 60 minutes until I got dehydrated and about 82 minutes until the starvation. 
Okay, we are now sprinting on the treadmill and... Oh. Um... Yep, eat stuff and then... Yeah. Alright. So water lasted for 17 minutes while sprinting, which is a lot less, um, but to actually measure hunger I need uh, more wok milk, because we probably sweat a lot when we are on this thing. Alright, now we are running in the other direction and let's see how long that thing lasts. So I didn't run the test completely, no pun intended, and through various techniques of pixel counting I've came to the conclusion that hunger lasts for about 55 minutes while sprinting. So let's go ahead and put these results into some diagrams. So it's pretty crazy how much more water you consume while sprinting, almost 4 times as much, and the food consumption is also 50% higher. So kids, always remember to stay hydrated. Alright, and to the last question. How many calories does a mechanic burn in a day? Well, this is a rather silly question, but I thought it would be some fun. So yeah, I found this highly scientific article on Google, aka it's the first search result, and now we're going to calculate how many calories this burger has, because one burger fills hunger completely. So then we can do the math. Anyway, so let's go with the standard amount of four ounces, which equals 375 calories per patty, which together makes for 750 calories. And a traditional hamburger bun adds 145 calories, so we take this number times 2. So one pickle has 10 calories. Half a cup of onions is 23 calories. So a teaspoon of ketchup is 20 calories. I think down there are more cucumbers. So let's add another 10 calories to that thing. So we still have about 3 slices of cheese. And according to Google, one slice of cheese is 113 calories each. One large tomato adds 33 calories. 100 grams of lettuce add 15 calories. So let's assume we have about 50 grams of fries up here. That would be 156 calories. And lastly, there are a few slices of sausage on top of the burger. One slice has 41 calories, I count 5 slices which equals 205 calories. So in total one pizza burger has 1851 calories. So now we know that a full hunger meter has 1851 calories. So if we apply that number to a day of walking and idling and no sprinting, that accounts for 552 calories per day. But to compare these results to a human, I need to know the height, weight and age of a mechanic, so I can type that into the totally scientific calculator that I found online. We are about as tall as a cow. Ok Google, how tall is a cow? Well, let's go with the height of a cow of 147 centimeters, according to Google. So a human male at 147 centimeters weighs in at 45 kilograms and I'm going to add 5 kilograms for our muscle mass because we've got these sick gains from exercising all day. Well, let's assume that our very handsome mechanic is 25 years old. So that would mean that a human at the same age, height and weight of a mechanic would burn 2070 kilocalories. Let's put that into a diagram. So a dwarf mechanic is 4 times as efficient as a dwarf human. And here's a cat for comparison. And just because we like data so much, I've added the average Christmas day consumption in the UK and an Asian elephant. So in case you wanted to know, an Asian elephant requires 100 times more calories than a dwarf mechanic in scrap mechanic. Well, now we've learned something today. I hope you had a very informing scrap mechanic experience. If you want to show your support for these scrap mechanic videos, hit that subscribe button and we shall meet again. But now I've got to go.